Hello everybody. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of tips and tricks and stuff like that just to use uh, with S Note and everything. I just recently got a job. I moved to a different state. Uh, I got engaged. There's my engagement ring. So a lot of things has just been sort of happening and I haven't been able to film any new videos here recently. So let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to give you a little trick to begin uh, the video with. So if you're ever mad at a piece of paper or if you want to just delete a piece of paper uh, on your S note, just go into the view mode. Uh, which is that right there. If you click that button, then you will be in edit mode. But if you click the button again, then you are in view mode. So take your three fingers, scrunch the piece of paper, and it will actually look like it's scrunched up and you can delete it. And this one says after deleting all pages, one new page will be added. Uh, and I just think this is really fun. I love the animation. It's just, it's really adorable and it's, uh, it's awesome. So let's go on to the next trip. Okay, so if you guys ever want to select all of the text on the page or just like a really huge majority part of the page, uh, what you can do is just hold down your S pen without touching the button over a word and then you can select all and it will select everything on the page and in the whole document, the whole thing. So if you like to separate like different little uh, portions of your notes, you can do that, but just so you know, it will select the whole document and all of the words on it. So basically, let me do that one more time. You just highlight one word, select all, and it will select everything in the document. So you can, you know, move on how much, uh, or you can choose how much of the words that you want. Um, but I want to make the font a little bit bigger. I'm going to go 14. You can change the line spacing. So I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. And I want to change the color to like, let's say dark green. So there we go. It's really quick, simple, easy. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how to do that because I was going uh, page by page and I was up to like 40 some pages or so that I was trying to minimize the words on because I copied and pasted a whole document onto SNOTE and it drove me crazy. So I decided that there, there had to be a way and I couldn't find anything online and then I just I realized that there was a select all button and I felt kind of stupid but you know, sometimes sometimes we need somebody else to point out what, uh, what you can do and what you can't do on the technology um, stuff, I guess. So, on to the next tip. Okay, so a lot of you know that, uh, like, typing on this board is kind of, it's, it's kind of annoying, like, because you say, hello. I mean, I used to use this a lot, the handwriting recognition keyboard. Um, but I decided that there was an easier way to, uh, to use this feature without having to have this keyboard like take up all the space on the on the screen. So basically what you do is you minimize the keyboard and then you select the productivity tools and you're going to be in uh, the handwriting mode thing. I think it's called handwriting mode. I can't remember. But just select that and it will still have you right there and you can uh, space, you can enter, you can go back. So basically, you can just like write down whatever you need to. YouTube. And look, voila, you don't even have to use the, the recognizing uh, handwriting recognition keyboard at all during this. So you can just use the productivity tool and uh, you can do whatever you want to with it. And I think that it's a lot easier to use this than it is to use the handwriting recognition keyboard. Blech, that's like a tongue twister for me today. I'm not really sure why, because I can, I can say it, but it's a tongue twister for me, for some reason, today. Well, anyways, so you can use that and write down everything that you need to, and it's a lot easier, I think, to switch between this, uh, like this mode and this mode right here, because you can just switch back and forth. So I can draw a benz or a square. I was going to draw a benzene ring, but my hands decided not to do that for me. So you can go back to this right here and, oh, wait, hold on. You got to go, you got to click this and then immediately click that. So it's, so it's one, two, three, like this. And then it takes you right back where you need to go. So the keyboard will pop up and that might be a faster way, but I feel like writing it this way, it allows me to see more of what I'm drawing and what I'm writing and stuff like that. So I think it's a lot more helpful to have this function rather than this one right here. So I like that one, but I don't like messing with the keyboard. I like this one because you can just write 
uh, straight on the page and it will uh, put it into the nice neat handwriting uh, or not handwriting uh, text. There we go. I can do it. I can do the words. Okay, let's go on to the next tip before I like pass out. Okay, for those of you who really like to uh, highlight things, uh, it's really, really hard to just use the pen mode to highlight things nice and neatly. Oh, well, never mind. I did that pretty nice. Um, but see, normally I, I kind of go like swirly do on, on this thing. So what you need to do is uh, hit the productivities button and then select shape match. And this is actually a lot easier uh, for me to do something with. See, it's really nice and neat and I can just highlight different little areas and it's nice and neat and it's wonderful and I love this. Um, so it, it makes it a lot neater than just trying to do it by yourself. So just use the uh, the pin mode and then select the shapes function. Uh, also you can do this same thing with a pin. So let's go with a different color here. Make it a little bit bolder. And you can use this to underline things as well and it's really nice and neat. There's actually like with the different pins and brushes and stuff like that it actually like the the line looks a little bit different. Like see that one has like the little faded around uh, edges and stuff like that. Um, yeah so you can see that. So that's good. So like with the other brushes and stuff I'll just go ahead and show you all the different ones. Oops. You have to actually like select the other function again. So that one's a little bit darker than it is on this one. And uh, let's see, the pencil mode I think is like my favorite. So because it, you can like see through, you can see through it and that's really cool. I think that's awesome. Eee! And then you can make a box. Okay, anyways, okay, I'm going to stop playing now. But this is one of my favorite ones to underline things with. Um, so you can just make it like however you want to and this feature is is really really awesome there's all my presets uh, and stuff but that's a that's a great feature for whenever you want to highlight things and keep everything nice and neat that's that's one of my favorite functions you'll see that in all of my other videos whenever I uh, show you guys how I take notes and stuff okay we'll do just one more little tip um, here before I sign off so I'm gonna go into oops not oops. Well, let's go right here and go into edit mode. So what I want to do here is just basically um, show you guys uh, a little trick that I, I learned while writing um, like little memos. So hold down the button, tap twice, your pop-up notes will come up. So if you need to take notes on your notes, um, then this is like the really easy way to do this stuff right here. Uh, so I'm sure that made absolutely no sense. Sorry, I'm like really distracted by my bird right now. She's walking around. I'm trying to make sure that she's not beaking anything. Okay, so this pop-up note, um, typically if I want to take notes, I can say, hello, YouTube. There we go. Let me spell that right. So you can do whatever you need to do in the background, but with this right here, I used to think that it would only let you uh, write down up to here, but then I found out that in air uh, mode, I think it's called air mode, it might be air view mode, if you just like hold your pin toward the bottom of the section uh, of the page, then you can scroll up and down. So this is really, really nice whenever you have a lot of stuff to write with, because you can't zoom in and out with this, there's no zoom feature unfortunately, but you can scroll up and down. And I had no idea you could do this until uh, one day whenever air, air view mode or whatever was um, implemented on the new update, I think, which was Jelly Bean, which was forever ago. So basically, uh, you can write down whatever you want to, and it only does, let's see, it only open or it only writes on one half the page. Which is kind of weird, but still it's better than not just having like this section right here um, to write with. Because at first we only had this section to write with. And that was really awkward because I had to do like multiple little memos. And it's really hard to like transfer 
like your material from one S note to another uh, S note and everything, unfortunately. I wish you can combine them, but you can't. Not yet. Anyways. So basically you write on like half the page and stuff and um, so it's just, it's really easy to use and in the memos you only have these three options. You can't do the, uh, you can't do the other things uh, that you could do like the shape match thing. You can't do that in the memos. So there are little things that are wrong with this memo thing. I wish that they would update it just a tiny bit. But other than that, um, it's good. Oh, and also you can make a note. Or hold on, you can cascade view it, and you can make it any size that you want to. So if you have something open in Polaris Office or any other like uh, PDFs or something like that, well, I don't think PDFs are no PDFs are not sponsored by this, or they're not supported by this. Uh, the multi-screen view. So you can have like something open in uh, Polaris Office and then have this sort of over it to have all of the different functions. So you have all of your S notes right here at your fingertips. So that's really nice. Um, so I hope that you guys like this video. Come visit my new website. Um, I'm trying to get it up and running. Uh, it's still a work in progress. I do have a lot of stuff going on right now, but I hope that you guys visit everydaytechtalk.com and I will provide a link in the bottom bar and uh, I hope that you guys come back soon and watch some more of my videos because I'm going to be putting at least one video a week. Uh, if you guys could like leave a day that you guys would most prefer a video to be left like on, uh, let's see, you can do M, T, oh well let's do, no wait, D, W, uh, R and F. So tell me, like, just write this down in the comments below which one you want uh, me to do. Like if you want it, if you want me to upload videos every Monday, put Monday or just write M in the comments below. If you want it every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, uh, just let me know which day you guys want me to do all these videos and stuff. I want to try to get you guys out one every week. I know I've already said that, but. So, I just, I just want you guys to know. But thank you for viewing the video, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye!